fireworks tonight at the headquarters of the rebels in Donetsk as they celebrated a day they hope will take them out of Ukraine. Less than 24 hours after their controversial vote for self-rule, the leadership declared their hand. They want to join Russia. When you consider the potentially momentous implications of Donetsk breaking away from Ukraine, surprisingly few people have turned up tonight. Only a few hundred are here to cheer on the leadership of the new self-declared Donetsk People's Republic. The armed pro-Russia activists claim two and a half million people voted in the poll, far more than seems possible. And with that exaggerated mandate, they made this request. Based on the will of the people and in order to restore historical justice, we ask the Russian Federation to consider the absorbing of the Donetsk People's Republic into the Russian Federation. In neighboring Lugansk, sandwiched between Donetsk and Russia, armed men also declared self-rule after an equally controversial poll. Moscow continued to encourage them, calling for the referendums to be acted on, prompting this response from the interim prime minister of Ukraine. Russia should stop supporting terrorists. It should call on them to lay down arms and to free the buildings that they occupy. And it should also stop funding them. Then there will be calm in Ukraine. And in Krasnoarmysk, where two men died in a polling day shooting yesterday, a reminder of the price that is being paid as this part of Ukraine slowly falls apart. Daniel Sanford, BBC News, Donetsk.